Good afternoon. I am excited to say that the Sella Foundation has grown and we have two new community leaders with us today. We have Anna and Ming Fan. And I'm so excited for our community to get to know more about you. So let's just jump right in. Anna, could you tell us more about yourself and how you fell down the crypto rabbit hole? Because I know that you, this is not your first crypto foray. Sure. Um, everyone, it's so great to meet you. Um, my name is Anna. And yeah, I one of the ways that I fell down the crypto rabbit hole, and the reason I'm so passionate now about building community and working on, on community programs is actually because I was just starting attending a meetup that um, crypto meetups where people were meeting and, and talking about things that they were they were involved with. And I started learning more meeting people. And um, yeah, I was also part of the Kernel Fellowship where I learned a whole lot more, got to, got to just meet lots of founders building interesting teams and yeah, and now uh, I'm really excited to be working on community programs here at Zello. Well, meetups are great, and we are a huge proponent of that, especially since you are going to be helping with community, and hopefully we can do more meetups besides being virtual. But Ming Fan, how did you fall down this crypto rabbit hole? I think you're on mute. Sorry. Um, I started to enter blockchain in late 2016 and joined the North American Blockchain Association. And then in 2017, I started my own um, bilingual blockchain media, which is blockchain. And the last year, um, the second half of the year, then I joined the Sushi and then to have their China PR and marketing. Um, so worked with several DeFi projects and crypto projects. And now I'm on Celo. Great. Well, um, I know we're working or cooking up a few things with sushi, with DeFi for the people. Um, and also, I wanted to let everyone know if you have any questions about Cello and how to join the community, please comment and we will try and get to those. So I'm curious, what spoke to you about Cello and why you wanted to help build the community here? Either one of you can speak first. I can speak while I joined because I help with social media and I was in the Ethereum space prior to this. And I really liked that all you needed to kind of dive into this ecosystem was a phone number through Valora. And to me, because a lot of my family is not into crypto, it was very easy for me to explain Valora as a Venmo thing. And then I talk about, you know, what the blockchain and Celo. So that was an area that I was really into and I wanted to help build that. So what was it for you and why you wanted to join Cello? Um, for me, I think first is the mission of Cello. Uh, to help all the people to bring prosperity to everyone. So that's really touching because um, for the crypto project that I work with or work on, that most of them, they target the 1% who are the crypto native or DeFi na native people. But Celo has a mission to help the other people, uh, including the people in the uh, like let's say the poor area, which is really touching. And then second thing is technology. So I have some engineering background. So Celo's uh, network, Celo's blockchain are really impressive. So I compared myself, for example, the I pay a lot of gas fee on Ethereum. And when I when I look at the gas fee that I paid on Celo, and it's just 0, 0.00 something, and which is fantastic. And so then I'm impressed by the Celo technology itself as a user. And then um, I look at the team. Team has a really strong background, including the founder from MIT and their technical and business background, and also our circle leads. And all of them are from the very giant company has a lot of experience. And then I talk with my networking APAC. I say, hey, have you guys heard about Celo? Uh, at that time, like a few months ago, then not a lot of people in APAC in Asia heard about us. So I was thinking, okay, can I use my experience in APAC in China to help Celo to bring the Celo story to more APAC people and then to save their guest fee? And then so that's why I joined Celo. Yeah, I definitely share uh, both of those missions. and. I uh, also wanted to add that one of the biggest reasons that 
uh, I was really excited about joining Celo is the team and, and the opportunity to build and, and launch a lot of the programs. We're expanding rapidly and so many people are joining uh, and it's really an exciting time to be here. Yes, I mean, those gas fees are real. That's always my favorite selling point of Celo of less than a cent for things. So I know everyone's talking about DeFi for the people, and I'm curious of what have you been seeing thus far and what's been exciting you about the incentive program? Okay, uh, so for DeFi for the people, and we announced last Monday, which was a very successful launch, and we promote the announcement in China and Korea, um, that's for APAC, and um, for China, then we have 39 media coverage, which was like fantastic, especially most of them, they are organic. And so media talking about us and community are talking about us. And I give some like number here, for example, our um, Silo China Telegram group doubled the size since last Monday. And then our Weibo uh, account, which is parallel to Twitter account in China, and then increased four times. We created late August, so this is still like a very new account, but you can see like people immediately joining and then every, everyone, the, the, um, the followers, and then we can see like new followers. And um, so for volunteers, right, we launched the China Ambassador Program and thanks Anna and also like, yeah, all the community support. Um, so this program launched on August, we have four ambassadors, they, are, they did fantastic work for us. And now we see them like uh, more volunteer, like uh, join us. Like I received the three messages this morning to say that, hey, then I want to be the volunteer, how I can be the volunteer. So kind of like every other day I receive like some message in talking about the volunteer. So I can see that people, a community shows like confidence in us. And there was a lot of questions about um, how to use pool together, how to use Ubiswap, how I can set, set up silo network on MetaMask. So you can tell them people not just talking about us, but want to like play or participate us. So I think that's that's really good. And how would you volunteer if you wanted to be more involved with Celo? Yeah, so in the APAC area now, because we already have four ambassadors for the three three months program. And then, I mean, after the three months, then we consider to extend this program, maybe welcome more volunteers to be ambassadors. Now, I don't want to like say no to anyone who wants to help us. So they will like, they will be like volunteers for now. And then they just help whatever then they think they can do community management. They can create article, they can create some videos for us. I just encourage them, they do whatever they want and then to help more people understand Celo. No, you've, I mean, I'm really excited about Pull Together. I know you mentioned it, but that's been great to see the community last week. And then Moolah Market, on, I think they launched on Friday with their triple rewards. Yeah. Anna, what about you? What have you been seeing from the community with DeFi for the people? Yeah, there's definitely been an amazing response. And we're super lucky that people are interested and curious and are starting to use um, the partners that are launching. The thing that's really exciting for me is it's, um, there's also, the fund has also announced that there's educational initiatives that are going to be involved. So I'm, I'm really excited to see the educational content that's going to be produced uh, as, as a result of this initiative, because I think a huge barrier to entry is obviously, you know, creating educational resources. And I think one of the most powerful ways is um, if someone that someone can learn is by then being able to teach others. So I'm really excited to uh, really soon announcing um, more programs and, and micro grants where we're, we're really excited to get our community involved, creating educational resources uh, for, for DeFi for the people. Um, and also at the same time, uh, we announced that there's also going to be a hackathon coming up. So there's lots of things with DeFi for the people. Uh, there's lots of moving parts and, and lots of different ways that the community can get involved, not just by using uh, the product, but also by uh, participating in, in other ways. Exactly. And another thing I want to add on top of the hackathon that is starting next month is Coneco 
is next Thursday, so a week away from now. And Coneco is when the community comes together, and it actually means Esperanto togetherness. And so we'll have updates. You know, we obviously will talk about Defy the People, but there's much more happening in the Cello ecosystem. And I'm curious, it is now, I would say fall, it's September, right? Could, it's still very warm where I am, but what are you expecting to happen this fall for the Cello community? Anything that people should keep their eye out for? Yes, um, definitely has a lot of plans in my mind, but at this moment it's rough ideas. So first I want to expand the community more uh, because like a lot of more volunteers and then we probably can get them like involved in more deep community management. And then um, also then I want to try another like ambassador program in Korea. Now we only have like in China as a pilot program. And um, the next, besides the China and Korean market, then we would like to expand to Singapore and um, more areas like in APAC. Um, and then we're still like observing what will be the trending topics. Um, and then I saw that NFT and GameFi are their super popular and uh, hot topics in the community. So we would like to see then if we can maybe uh, invite some NFT or GameFi projects to build on Celo, and which I think that will definitely help also like the Celo to increase our liquidity. Um, and then besides that, um, yeah. So like for the builder growth, and then we probably want to connect with more local projects. And um, there were some like incubator uh, projects. And then after the DeFi for the people announcement, they reached out to me to say that if we can help them and or connect with our builder growth team or dev team, and then to build right there the app on the Celo network. That's definitely happened after the uh, DeFi for the people announcement. Great, we love more momentum on top of momentum. Anna, what about you? Yeah, I think um, I would really encourage everyone to attend Coneco next week because we'll be announcing a lot of more programs that are coming up this fall um, on, on that day. And the DeFi for the People Hackathon, I think is one of the most exciting things that will be happening this fall. Uh, it will be in the month of October. So you can expect a lot of, there's going to be workshops and tech talks and um, lots of different resources and mentorship available to get people to come and build and try out building on Celo, um, as well as we're really excited to be adding some uh, regional flavor and having uh, hackathons um, in some of our key areas around the world. So I'm really excited that people will be able to come together, maybe in some places, in person and then largely virtually as well. So uh, I think it's going to be a great event all around. Yeah, and shameless plug, it's defiforthepeople.org if you want to sign up for information for the hackathon. And it is, I know there's going to be lots of prizes too, and we love a good prize. I uh, One last thing before we close out, is there anything that you'd want the Cello community to know about APAC or just your background? or anything that's a fun fact about yourself, you can close it out how you want to. Yeah, so anyone who wants to be volunteer, welcome. And then just uh, connect with me or join our Celo Telegram group. And then we have like ambassadors there, then they will help you to go through the application process, or you can just like come to me. And also like for uh, local projects, and then if you would like to partner with Celo and feel free to um, contact with me also, then I know the language sometimes, right? Then um, the local language, and I, I speak Chinese, so for the China projects, that may be easier than I can help like with translation and then help connect uh, you guys and with our dev team or ecosystem team. And then so looking forward to working with more projects. Yeah, and on, on my end, um, just echoing everything, um, I think the best way to get in, in touch with us is always through their, um, our Discord or Telegram groups, uh, or even on Twitter. I'm always happy to talk to people who want to get involved in the community. The things that I'm really excited about is also working with our eco-leads. And we, I know we have such an amazing 
global community. And it's also one of the biggest reasons that I was really excited to join Celo is to build community programs all around the world. Um, so yeah, I'm always happy to talk to teams who are interested in getting involved and in individuals. So. Great. And my last thing is, I don't know if the community knows, but we have a cello builder award where you can win, I believe it's a thousand cello for every month. So if you go onto Twitter, you can nominate a builder in their project and the winner will be announced at Koneko. So that's another way that we are trying to just spread the good cheer of the cello community. And I wanted to thank everyone for coming and thank you for spending time with us, Anna and McFan, and have an excellent week. You too. Thank you, Larisha. Thanks, everyone. Bye.